Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Yesterday I received three more campers in. I got a 975 and two 1172s. 975s right behind me here. Right there, and then I got two 1172s as well. Today we're going to be focused in on the 2021 Lance 975. Uh, this one here requires uh, one ton. Doesn't have to be a dually, but recommended. Uh, so a 350 or 3500 series long long bed uh, single rear wheel or dual rear wheel. This one comes in weighing at 4,090 pounds dry and 4,503 pounds wet. Uh, price wise you're looking at about 43 starting out and then if you load it up with all the goodies you're looking at about 65 somewhere around there. So yeah these range from 43 to 65,000. Uh, they're expensive but well worth the money. All right, we'll just start walking around here. This one has all electric jacks around all four corners. Uh, you just use your remote and uh, you don't have to crank it by hand, although you can if needed. Flip that down, pop this cap off and get to cranking. Pack you a lunch. Then we got the swing out brackets added on this one too for the fat butts to back underneath. walking around this is going to be your refrigerator vent area then you have your batteries this one carries two deep cycle batteries that's what we've got in it a little bit of storage here on this slide out every bit of storage counts on the truck camper and this one's got it this one's got a lot of storage actually and we'll go over that here too all right so underneath your slide out here I recommend doing everything while it's on the truck a whole lot easier to get to but you have your liquid waste and body waste so uh, you're going to also have uh, 45 gallons of fresh water on the go uh, you're going to have 30 gallons on the gray water and uh, 26 on the black for those of you that don't know which is which gray water is going to be your uh, like your uh, sink water uh, kitchen sink uh shower water stuff like that body waste is your sewage uh what you put down the toilet all right fresh water that's fresh water now you have your battery disconnect switch here off on parking satellite connections external shower uh, for those of you that like to shower outside or just rinse off your feet you can do that over here uh fresh water tank again that's 45 gallons cold and hot water line drains here all right close that up all your campground connections are going to be on your driver's side so you've got your 30 amp plug there and then underneath in the back you have your city water connection and your black water flush system i recommend using two separate uh water hoses for that okay Moving on to the back, I've got our awnings already out. Uh, the back one doesn't have auto wind sensing, but the side will. We'll get there in a, just a moment. All right, so if you look here, you'll see, I mean, this has a ton of storage right here on the back. I think I forgot to unlock this one. No, I didn't. All right, so you're gonna have this uh, storage right over here next to the door. Uh, you can pack that full of tackle, put you some uh, pegs in there and hang up your tackle all nice and neat put you some some rods whatever you want to use that for uh, But it does come with a pegboard Get you well organized this actually goes underneath the camper hasn't been installed yet, but that's your like designated sewage hose pipe uh, Most people use one of these compartments here for it All right, so this is going to be your ultra deck uh, plus made by torque lift Got quite a bit of storage back here in just the bumper. Now these are not watertight or dry storage compartments by any means. Just extra place to put like your hoses, uh, power cords, elbows for your sewage pipe, stuff like that. But I believe that's like a three or four thousand dollar add-on option, but well worth the money in my opinion. All right. Also here on the back we have external lights let me pop those on right quick all right game on 
got our docking lights on patio light patio lights are two-way you can do an orange light or a white light I've got it on white right now uh, and then we've got our little backup camera right there that's on at all times as long as you have the power on to the camera and it plugged in in the truck so you can uh, see who's behind you making lane changes going down the road then we also on this awning have a LED light strip at the end of it and like I said this rear one is auto just like the side one just doesn't have that auto wind sensing feature all right on the side of the camper we've got this nice side awning here to keep the campground side shaded uh, lights at the end of it I don't know if that's picking up on camera but then we've got a uh, mountain graphics on this side you can either do mountain graphics or the original graphics um, mountain graphics seems to be the most popular all right on this side you'll find your two propane tanks these are uh, 20 pound tanks um, some people call them let's see five gallon but these are 20 pound tanks and you got two of them we always pull off this one first and then pull off this one last so you can see exactly how much you have left in there lock that back up and nice that one's locked all right, then you got you a nice little storage compartment underneath your propane. Moving on, got external speakers. You can crank these up and piss off your neighbors. Um, you can hear what's going on. Uh, you, uh, like if you got a game going on inside, you can have that playing through your speakers, uh, through the, off the television. So you can play radio or television off on these. All right. Here's where your water pump's located. Uh, this is also one of your winterizing points. Up is winterized, down is normal, all right? And then this is also ducted too, right here. So you have heat going to this compartment here. And then this is where you all, uh, fresh, or this is where you fill your fresh water tank. Again, that's 45 gallons. Um, if you're going to be staying at a campground have connections you shouldn't need that if you're boondocking then there you go you can carry 45 gallons of fresh water with you so this is going to be your six gallon hot water tank service area you've got to put the nut on for it to keep water in there uh, if you don't it's just going to keep leaking out the bottom okay but here's a little side view of the camper I know everybody wants to see the inside so we'll get on to that tricked you we're actually headed up here on the roof everybody wants to see this lance does have fully walk-on roofs as long as you get an 825 or above but uh this one has the one solar panel option you can get up to two up here and it would be right over here but this customer only wanted one so that's what it's got tv antenna awning slide out cover But yep, here's what we're working with. Fully walk on, I'm walking everywhere. I weigh 225 pounds now, and I haven't fallen through yet. Before entering the camper, I wanted to point this out. I believe I skipped over it, but that is a onboard generator option that you can get for the 975s. Um, it's actually an option for the 855S, 960, 975, 995, 1062, and 1172. Um, little bit of a run on sentence there but uh anyways these run off your propane tanks uh, it's the onan 2500 ilp uh, powers your air conditioner microwave stuff like that stuff that requires ac if you're not plugged in at the campground that's about a four thousand dollar option so between the generator and this deck alone you got about 7k in options all right moving on so as soon as you walk in here you've got this massive storage bin right there that's an awesome feature for this one this uh 975 995 and i believe 1062 all have this massive storage compartment once you walk in but uh yeah when i when i was telling you earlier that this one has a ton of storage i would say that this one 
975 and above you're going to have a lot of storage with those campers uh, 975 995 and 1062 i believe all have that storage compartment could be wrong but i believe i'm right but uh anyways they all 975 995 1062 and 1172 have a ton of storage on them also something really cool about this camper is the built-in trash can right here when you walk in say you're kicking it with the boys or the girls um at the campsite or boondocking whatever you need a place to throw your brewskis instead of littering you make a few steps over here crush it throw it i'd say you could at least put a case of crust in there and it's non slam how cool is that all right so also to the right here above the garbage can here you've got your key holder show you how that works real quick how cool is that above the key holder you got your exterior lights left right rear this is going to be your entry light right there the unlabeled one docking lights right there backup camera that's how you get power to it slide out power you turn that off that deactivates the power to the slide and charging station for your remote all right all pretty sweet huh walking in i'll go ahead and point out the interior color real quick this is the java interior option it's a dark brown kind of pleather feel uh, and then you have royal that you can pick from it's like a midnight blue shade and then platinum that's going to be light gray and kind of like a cloth material all right wanted to go over the color real quick before i got to the kitchen all right so here's your kitchen area pretty big so you have your sink here with the sink covers if you're using the sink you can remove these bad boys out of the way it's a non-divided sink just one big sink uh, some people like that some people don't uh, it don't matter to me and then when you're not using the sink and need more uh, counter countertop space maybe for cutting or whatever uh, I don't really know what you do when you cook but uh, anyways if you need more countertop space fill that in right there and you've just added quite a bit of countertop to the left this is going to be our three burner stove top right there and then we've got us an oven i think you could put you about a medium sized pizza in there maybe a large probably a medium and then above you have the range hood got you a light there a fan let it vent out in here when you burn it up microwave storage compartment that's where the microwave plugs in and then over here to the right you've got your little radio deal here uh, you can put DVDs in there and play them on the TV. Uh, you can play the radio, jam out, all that good stuff. You have zones, so you can play it from just the bed area, the dinette area, or outside. It's going to be zones A, B, and C. It's got its own app to it, too, so you can control it through your phone. Uh, this is your control panel for the water pump, water heater on gas, and electric. Okay, yeah, I'm pointed at it. Uh, battery levels, probably been using it up. No, we're still full. Uh, fresh water level black water and gray water so you can check all that right here and see where your levels are at right here this is where you start your generator stop prime you prime it first then start it and then stop to turn it off and then over here to the right you've got your awning switches uh, on off this is going to be your side extend retract oh my bad wasn't even pointed at it uh, extend you just hit it once and it extends same for retract and as long as you leave the power on to it it will roll itself back in if it gets too windy awning light and this is for your rear right here awning in out you do have to hold this one and then awning light all right cool i believe that covers this area maybe skipped over this right here 
All right, so I believe I did skip over this. All right, down below your sink here, you have access to the plumbing, and then you also have uh, added space for cleaning equipment, towels, uh, spices, chips, whatever you want to throw in there. Extra beer. Oh, and I've got asked what this is in a previous video. This is uh, your panel for your uh, solar panel. See how many volts are going to the batteries. That needs to be switched to flooded. And how you change these, you just hold this setting right here. It's on AGM right now. Hold it down until it blinks. Hit B, we're on flooded. Hold down A. That's how you change it. There we go. All right, so a lot of people ask where I get my weights from. I get them right here on the sticker. This one with all the factory equipment installed is 4,503 pounds. Um, without all the uh, crap is 413 pounds uh, minus that. So let's see, what is that? What did I say it was earlier? That would be 4,090 pounds dry and then 4,503 pounds with your tanks loaded, wet. And then whatever else you add in here, um, as far as uh, camping equipment and stuff, that just adds to it. Alright, then we've got our dinette area. Like I said, this one's Java. You have Java, Royal, and Platinum to choose from. Uh, this does make into a bed. Once you have it made into a bed, that's going to give you 44 inches by 78 inches. So I could actually sleep on this one comfortably. Um, how you do that is you just take this right here, this lever, let it go, push that down, Use your cushions as filler, as filler, not rocket science, pretty easy. Um, this one does not have the bunk option that some of them have, and I'm going to say it's because of that guy right there, your little window. Um, these windows have day and night shades, day shades, night shades. But yeah, I believe that's kind of like it when it comes to the dinette you've got your little mood lights to really set the mood in here uh, AC outlets and USB and DC outlets and then underneath your bench seating also on that side you have these pull-out drawers and then you just hit that to lock it you don't have to worry about them running out down the road uh, your fridge is over here. It's a three-way. Runs on gas, AC, and DC. You run it on DC, you're going to suck your batteries dry. But AC and gas is where it's at on this. Then you have a separated freezer there. Cool. All right, moving on to this side. We've got us a swing-out TV. You pull this lever somewhere down here, unlocks it, and you can pull it out to face towards outside, dinette, or bed. And then once it latches, it's, it's latched, it's not going anywhere. Got you some racks here for DVDs, um, magazines, stuff like that. dry bath so you're not taking a shower with the toilet although either or works both have their pros and cons got some stored or a pull out drawer here for your toothpaste toothbrush shaving equipment and stuff like that then a little bit of storage underneath there's where they hide your tulip paper. Make sure it don't get wet and humidified. I think I just made that word up. It is what it is. Then, let's see. A little medicine cabinet. All right, cool. All right. Air conditioners. What do we have for an air conditioner? Uh, it's a 10K low profile, uh, wall controlled, uh, AC unit made by Dometic So right here you've got your wall control for it. You control the AC and the heat through this All through this one little unit right here. Pretty neat 
All right. And then up here we have our queen size mattress. It is a true queen size mattress. It's 60 by 80 inches. So if you're looking for sheets to buy for it, you go buy queen sheets. Got us a little countertop over there for your uh, sleeping machines. If you got one, you can plug it in right here. People ask about that. That's actually a really common question. So you got uh, space over here to uh, put that bad boy. Space over here with a flip up um, storage compartment. And then right over here, we've got us a closet. And then this customer wanted a second TV station added to it, so that's what he got. Got reading lamps up there and more storage over here to the left. Cool. Well, I think that's everything. If I didn't go over something, I'll hear about it in the comments. Um, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think of this unit right here. But like I said, this uh, is the 2021 Lance 975. And this one goes for between 43,000 and 65,000, just depending on what you want to add to it. Basically everything you see is an option. The mountain graphics, uh, both rear and side awnings, um, solar panels, air conditioner, ultra deck plus. I mean, everything's an option. If you want a specific price, just give me a call. Let me know. I'll spec one out for you and uh, we'll come up with a fair price. But uh, if you want to order one, it's 423-892-6272. My name's Brad. I'll be more than happy to place an order for you. Um, yeah, so uh, we're above 17,000 subscribers now, guys. So that's awesome. We're continuing to grow. Um, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Join this Fish and Fun family. Um, go ahead and like the video. let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. And like I said, if I missed anything, comment below. Hopefully I can answer your question in the uh, comments below. But um, it is Memorial Day weekend, so have a happy Memorial Day. And uh, thank you to all those that have served. Everybody take st or stay safe and take care, and I'll see you on the next one.